the aseptic technique by kscience.com. Firstly, you must sterilize all your equipment before you use it. So you use an autoclave. So you put your agar nutrient into the autoclave. You then put all of the agar plates that you're gonna use into the autoclave, as well as the lids and the inoculating loop and any other equipment that is going to be used in the inoculation of agar plates. You then put a lid onto the autoclave. You then turn the heat on. This heat is going to go all around the autoclave and that is going to kill any pathogens or any microorganisms in or on any of the equipment you use. So it's going to sterilize everything inside the autoclave by using heat. So an autoclave. An autoclave is an oven which uses heat to sterilize agar nutrients and all your equipment. So sterilization, what does that mean? You must kill all the microorganisms and pathogens. This is to prevent the contamination by bacteria that you don't want to grow. Before you inoculate your agar plate with bacteria, you must kill all the microorganisms and pathogens on the surface in which you're going to use. So on the surfaces that you're going to use, you're going to find bacteria, viruses, fungi and protists potentially. And you're going to use a disinfectant. You're going to spray the disinfectant all over your table or bench. This will kill all the pathogens and all the microorganisms on the bench. So remember to wipe the table with disinfectant. This kills the microorganisms. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Now you've sterilized your bench, you place a Bunsen burner on your bench and turn it to a blue flame. What the blue flame will do is sterilize the air around the Bunsen burner by convection. You then sterilize your inoculating loop in the flame. Sterilizing the inoculating loop in the flame will kill any microorganisms on the inoculating loop. So remember to sterilize the inoculating loop in a blue flame. This is to kill microorganisms and prevent contamination. You now get your bacteria culture. Always working close to the flame because the air is sterilized around it. Then you dip your inoculating loop into the bacterial culture. So remember, lift the lid of the bacterial culture bottle as little as possible. You dip your inoculating loop into the bacterial culture. And you take your inoculating loop from the bacterial culture and you take it as carefully as you can over to your agar plate. To prevent cross contamination, you lift the lid of the agar plate as little as possible. You then streak your inoculating loop back and forth across the agar plate, transferring the bacteria onto the agar plate. So you take your agar plate and your inoculating loop should now have the bacterial culture on it. You then streak your inoculating loop back and forth across the agar on the plate and you go up and down and left to right. And you replace the lid onto the agar plate as quickly as possible to prevent cross-contamination. So remember, Lift the lid of the bacterial culture as little as possible. Dip the inoculating loop into the bacterial culture. Inoculate the agar plate by streaking the inoculating loop across the surface of the agar. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. And after you've streaked your bacterial culture onto your agar, you must sterilize the inoculating loop. This is to kill any bacteria that could still be on the inoculating loop. You then put the lid back on the agar plate as quickly as possible. Then you tape down the sides of the agar plate's lid. Make sure it is not airtight. Make sure when you tape the lid, it is not airtight. This is so Dangerous anaerobic pathogens do not grow. They are very dangerous if you make it airtight. And then you turn the plate upside down. So remember to store the plate upside down. This is so condensation that forms on the plate will form on the bottom and not drip onto the agar bacterial culture. 
You then store the agar plate of the bacterial culture in an oven at 25 degrees Celsius. Remember to incubate at 25 degrees Celsius. Bacteria will now multiply by binary fission. So you're going to get little colonies of bacteria forming. The bacteria are going to use the nutrients in the agar of the plate and use the oxygen in the air to undergo respiration. They're then going to multiply and form new colonies. After you've completed this experiment, you must sterilize all of your equipment again because this could you in growing bacteria and you need to sterilize everything using an autoclave. So the heat is going to kill any microorganisms on any of the equipment you have used. And remember to disinfect your surfaces after you've been using a bacterial culture. This will kill any pathogens or any microorganisms that have cross-contaminated onto your surface. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.